This video is for a demonstration of the joiner. What we're looking to do with the joiner is take and make the edges of the board even. Only the edges. You never, ever, ever want to joint the ends of the board. Okay? Even if the teacher is present, we're never doing that. Only the edges. In industry, sometimes a joiner is used to smooth the spaces of the board, but for our class purposes, we use that with the planar surfacer. So again, only the ends, excuse me, edges. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is pick my best edge. So I'm gonna look, nah, this one's got a lot of splits and uneven in it. So I'm gonna take, this is my best edge. This is going to be the edge that I'm putting face down on the table. And I always wanna have it up against the, ta the um, fence. And when I'm gonna use a planner, I always wanna check, make sure my guard's in place. There is a cutter head inside of the joiner just like there is inside of the surfacer. It spins at a really high rate, so it can cause a lot of kickback, so you always have to hold on to your board. This machine has the most kickback in the shop, so we always wanna make sure you're holding on to your board. If not, it's gonna get shot backwards at many miles per hour, so it's a big safety hazard. All right, other issues here, you always want to stand in front of the machine. You never want to stand on the left or the right side of it. Um, if you don't know how to use the machine, make sure you always ask for help first. Don't just try it. Um, all right, so what we want to do then is get our hands situated. So with my back hand, I'm going to take, make an L, and I want to fold that up against the back so I have it so it's not going to be pushed backwards. And then for the top, I can either hold it the same way or I can have my fingers like this. I never want to grip the board tightly or down low. I need to stay at least two inches away from the cutter head. Okay, if not more than two inches. And then this left hand is gonna be pushing it up against the fence. I am never gonna be pushing down or it's gonna make this board, board very hard to join. So push it up against the fence. And then this hand is pushing forward. So, um, the other issue here, never wanna join a board that is less than 12 inches. Okay, always more than 12 inches. So we'll go ahead, turn our exhaust on, turn our joiner on, do the board and review. and smooth so it's not necessary to make a second pass so whenever we're doing projects for this class unless we want two finished edges it's only necessary to do one so I'm all finished 